is also developing here today. Florida is front and center in the latest fight against masks. Florida's attorney general says that the state is suing to overturn the federal mandate on planes, buses and trains. Florida joins 20 other states now. This comes after the CEOs of the major airlines called for an end to the mask requirements, which the Biden administration just extended through mid-April. Standing alongside Governor DeSantis, the AG announced that she filed for a permanent injunction against enforcement. The governor and I are so proud to lead states across this nation, 21 in total, to ensure that this administration simply stays within their scope of power. So why do this now? For some sharper insight, I asked Dr. Jay Wolfson. He is the Dean of Health Policy and Practice at the Morrisani College of Medicine at USF Health. He's also the Associate Vice President for Health Law. From a health perspective, he said a mandate like this makes less sense than it did even just a few months ago, given that case rates are down, but more importantly, said deaths. Those are way down. From a legal perspective, he said that states have had a lot of success lately bringing lawsuits against these federal pandemic mandates, from challenging the cruise ship no sale order to the eviction moratorium. As the, the incidence and prevalence of the disease continues to climb, the plaintiffs in the case, the 20 states, are saying it's time that the federal government stop. It has no authority to do this kind of thing and that they have no authority as well to do things like the eviction moratorium, which has been term, determined to be unconstitutional, the no sale order, which exceeded their authority after a certain point. So there's a fair chance that in seeking a declaratory and injunctive finding from the courts, they're going to get it. And again, the current federal mandate is set to end on April 18th.